everyone, this is Mark Wong from PSB Academy Student Affairs and welcome to another episode of Career Cookies. Hi everyone. <laughs> <laughs> we have a familiar face on campus today and that's none other than Mr. Stephen Liu, who is the Director of HR and Training Consultancy firm Stevenson Heureka. Now if you remember, Stephen was also our trainer for a string of career workshops covering topics on networking strategies as well as getting ready for the corporate world. Now, on top of being an established management consultant and corporate trainer, he's also an executive search consultant. Now, tell us a little bit about that. Well, ex executive search is mm. something, uh, you know, privileged people yes. and companies have access to, right? And normally for us in this line, we have to keep very private mm -hmm. and confidential for the executive and also right. for the clients. Right. Yeah? Uh, Certainly, this is basically a uh, skills as mm. well, trying to identify those people that fit the organization. For us, in particular, we have uh, the added edge in a sense that mm. we look for people that fit the right culture, yeah. other than the basic technical skills and management know-how. Mm. Yeah? So I hope that explains uh, some of the aspects. Of it. Absolutely. Now, as we all know, we are right in the middle of a very different economy right now, and uh, we are living in the shadow of recent US trade tensions with uh, China. And now we are put even further to the test in light of the COVID-19 crisis. Now, from an executive recruiter point of view, mm. what's your take on the hiring climate? Well, I think uh, certainly the hiring has slowed mm. down. <laughs> I think, he, uh, but it will be for a short period of time. Mm. Naturally, I think uh, the, hopefully the crisis uh, will blow away, mm. yeah? Just like what happened with SARS. Mm. Now, the key thing is that as a job seeker, mm -hmm. one should not give up. Yeah? No doubt you may get a lot of rejections or even things put on hold. I think the important part is continue to be resilient mm -hmm. and push on. Uh, situation may ho hold back, but you never know when the situations uh, get back to normal, mm -hmm. the hiring will come back again very quickly. Oh, absolutely. In fact, Stephen, earlier, uh, earlier on we were just uh, discussing you are no stranger to crisis, mm. given your experience uh, during the SARS period. Now, could you share a little bit about how you overcame uh, adversity uh, during that time? Well, um, back, I think some 17 years ago, mm. I was actually working for a global IT MNC. Yeah? Mm. And I left the company, and then uh, it took me a long while, about 18 months to land the next job. Uh, I was early 40s then. Mm. Uh, there were various, various challenges and difficulty. Yeah? And time and again, uh, yes, it was a difficult period, but it took me a while to search and identify where the skills, where I'm lacking and how should I improve. Mm. Yeah? So we have continued to find ways how to improve oneself and never give up. Mm. Yeah? Uh, but the important part is uh, to stay positive, resilient, mm. and continue to find ways to upskill. Mm. Now, when you mentioned finding ways to upskill, could you um, expand a little bit more about that? What advice can you give to our students and also current working professionals on how they can thrive in such an uncertain future of work right now? Okay, mm. um, I think the situation that we're facing right now is not going to end or mm. go away, right? Future, in future times, there's going to be a situation like this. But having said that, even without this crisis, I think we are seeing a lot of disruptions. Uh, what called VUCA will come across uh, familiar with some of you. Mm. It actually stands for volatility, uncertainty, complexity, mm. and ambiguous. Mm. Now, this is caused by a lot of disruptions due to technology. Mm. So important is that one has to overcome four important barriers. Yeah? Let me simplify it for you. Mm. Four. What are the four? First is about overcoming fear. Mm. Every one of us got fear. Fear factor, we call it. Mm. Yeah? So first of all, we must overcome that fear. Yeah? To take the courage, to take the first step and cross the line. Yeah? That's one. Second is basically, you're, you're referring to uh, about uh, self-leadership. Mm. Self-leadership refers to about personal self-esteem, confidence, yes. proactiveness, and the ability to uh, what you call uh, learn new things and mm. do things that have never been done before. Yeah. The third is about skills. All of us would have to practice lifelong learning yeah? Yeah. today. Now, uh, anybody can 
be a technical graduate or mm. even an arts graduate or science graduate. The key thing is that when you graduate, you're not perfectly uh, honed for mm. jobs in the market. So as you go along, you must learn to identify the gaps that each and every one of you have. Correct. Yes, right? And mm. learn to improve on it and get mm. it. The fourth is basically seeking a mentor. Yeah. I, I noticed that a lot of young graduates coming out or even the working professionals, mm. I think they like to have mentors to guide them. Mm. It's so important in life to have a life coach or a mentor to guide you as you go along, depending on your career. Seek out those people in the professional line to help you. Because if they, especially for those who have more years experience, mm. not necessarily a senior, a more senior person, sometimes young people with the right experience, they can guide you in a particular skills Absolutely. and domain. Mm. So we're very open to it. Mm. The young seeking the old, the old can <laughs> seek the young as well. Yeah? Today we, have, we need to get those multi-generations. So mm. addressing these four goals, right? four goals, all right? each, of, each of them will be able to help you to move to the next level. That's fantastic. Now, as we always say to all our viewers uh, watching back home, don't just learn, don't just listen, but you need to apply. So what is one challenge that you can offer to our viewers that they can start right now? Okay, I, I think the basic challenge that every one of us has, mm. right, is to overcome our own personal fear, mm. I would say. Yeah? The fear of stepping up, the fear of crossing the line. Yeah. Now, I want to encourage all of you yeah, to do mm. something that beyond something that you have never done before. Mm. Not necessarily something uh, big or difficult or complex, but something as simple as even walking <laughs> a five kilometers a day, mm. exercise for instance, right? <laughs> now, yeah. a lot of us may be postponing a lot of things time and again. Mm. Now, important thing is to self-discipline, take the courage and commit oneself to achieve small little incremental goals. As you go along, right, you slowly increase those kind of uh, goals and the more you do, the more self-esteem and confidence will come in. Mm. So by doing that, right, whatever, even you, you may have some failures in other areas, it wouldn't matter, yeah. right? Focus on the positivity and focus on your goals, simple goals that you can achieve. And mm. in time to come, all right, you will achieve bigger goals in life. Okay, hold on. I would have one last message for all oh. of you, you know? Mm. Now, I, like, I want to quote uh, uh, an author, speakers, mm. right, who has written this big book, uh, which I read some 20 mm. years ago. His name is David Schuller. Now, he gave one particular quote during a tough time period. So, some of you are going through this tough period, right? Now, one, the quote is inspirational. It's, it says, tough mm. times don't last. Only tough people do. With that, I want to thank you for listening to this uh, talk and hope it encourage and inspire you to move forward. Thank you, Stephen. Okay, bye-bye. We'll see you in the next video. Hey, everyone. We hope that you enjoyed the video. Now, earlier on, if you recall, we spoke about the importance of getting a mentor in order to accelerate your pathway to career success. Now, you'll be happy to know that PSB Academy Student Affairs does offer a mentorship program for all students as well as alumni. Now, if you want to be a part of it, all you have to do is pause this video and scan the QR code to learn more.